Shreveport County emergency crews stayed busy today checking on folks in flooded areas and experiencing dangerous road conditions firsthand. The county is still debating whether or not to declare flooded areas disaster zones. That would make it illegal for people to go into those areas until, unless they live there or they are emergency workers. WNCT's Josh Birch reports on those conditions from Chocolinity. The flooding in Beaufort County has left many with very limited transportation options. Folks I spoke with say this is a time to come together and help each other out. It's going to be pretty nasty. For some areas in Beaufort County, the line between roads and rivers were blurred. We don't normally do this unless we have a major weather event. Chocolinity first responders were taking this vehicle out into flooded areas to make sure folks were all right and also get a sense of what conditions were like in case they got a call. We just want to make sure that, again, everybody's safe going to during the call and then coming back from the call. While crews remained busy, some of the flooded areas made the most of the situation. Instead of dancing in the streets, they were kayaking in the streets. Now right here, there's only a couple inches of water, but emergency and management officials tell me in some areas of the county, the water is up to four feet deep. It's a more of a uh, do whatever you have to do to take care of yourself. Bruce Shampoo lives in one flooded neighborhood in Chocowinity. He snapped these shots earlier as the water crept closer. I slept in my truck last night on the hill. Just because just because I wasn't sure how high it was going to get. Shampoo says many of his neighbors aren't going anywhere because they've outlasted plenty of storms in the past. Despite that experience, emergency crews are doing all they can to keep everyone, including themselves, safe. We just make sure that uh, we follow all of our rules to a T. We have the proper gear, proper equipment that we carry with us. Now, of course, high tides will only make flooding like this worse. Of course, stay with us on air and online at WNCT.com for any updates. In Chocowinity, Josh Birch, 9 on your side.